in plank, we're gonna learn how to properly engage the core and keep breathing. So first, um, start in a sagging position and lift up from your navel without compressing the front of your body. And you can hold in this plank, in this long plank position for about five seconds as you inhale and exhale. And you can repeat this five times, holding it five seconds each. And now, here's what it looks like to do it wrong. You're compressing the front of your body using your superficial muscles. Now, back to doing it the right way. You're keeping your body long. And the more you can Step lift up, one, the better. Step one, start by placing the hands in the abdomen and noticing the breath. Notice what parts move. And see if you can draw your belly in. Keep the abdomen hollowing out as you inhale and exhale. As you draw the abdomen in, now we're going to inhale, lift the knee up, and exhale, release the leg back to the ground. And as you do this, notice if the abdominal muscles push into your fingers, try to keep the abdo abdomen pulling in. Now we practice the deadlift. Instead of pushing out. So with the bar, we get ourselves stacked, get those hips underneath us, tailbone underneath the body, neck straight and then bring the butt back as the bar lowers and then push into the ground bring the bar back to the hips so we can repeat this 10 to 20 times just practicing with the bar and now neck position if your neck is cocked up keep that neck in line with the body so there's a straight line between the back of the head and the coccyx now without the bar we can do this at home every day so set the position, get a straight line between the back of the head and your tailbone, and bring that butt back as you lean your chest forward 10 to 20 times, once in the morning, once at night, and looking for the rotation around the hip joint. So the, the hips rotate in the socket to bring the butt back behind you as the straight now for something to do between your deadlifts to get some better hip extension and more rotation in the socket. Starting in down dog, I want you to lift your leg straight up to parallel. You can do this five to ten times on each side, getting that leg right to parallel, keeping the knee straight, keeping the abdomen still. So as you lift the leg, don't let the belly spill. Don't let the back arch and round forward. Keep use the ab abdomen pulling in and the stability of the inhale to lift the leg and the exhale to bring the leg back down while keeping the skill is keeping the body still. So you can do that 10 times. Now the next one is increasing rotation. So you're pointing the toes out, opening one hip on top of the other, inhale lifting, exhale, bring it back down. Now as you do this, try to keep the shoulders square towards the front of your mat so the shoulders don't open up only the hip opens up and stacks on top and finally for a stretch to help us get that hip flexor turned off and relaxed we're going to activate the posterior chain so you bring that knee back far enough to feel a stretch in your inner groin and your hip flexor on the left side and then you're going to squeeze the buttocks and the hamstring and try to draw that heel as close to your butt as you can. Exhaling as hard as you can as you draw the heel in and then inhaling on the way back. And if you feel a Charlie horse coming on, that means you're doing, a, you're doing it right. So maybe 10 times each side and then plant that foot, lift that knee and come up into a lunge. Try to keep your tailbone tucking. Hold that for a few breaths, relieve it all in down dog, and then set up for the other side. Now, if you're not feeling anything, let that uh, knee come back another inch. And then here we go. Exhale as you draw that heel in. Draw that heel in, squeezing from the middle of the hamstring, middle of the back thigh, and your glute muscles. Come on up into a lunge to stretch it all out. Hold that for a few breaths and let your weight drop into your feet and you're done.